What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Judah Lation. Today I got some Crisis 2 gameplay for you guys. Uh, and I'm also going to talk about why the PlayStation Network is down and when it's expected to come back up. I'm playing as Marines, and this is uh, Penn Station. My armor abilities are Threat Tracker, Covert Ops, Mobility Enhance. I'm rocking the Scar Hollow with the Grenade Launcher. So all the problems with the places the network started when a group named Fail Overflow was able to find the root keys of the PS3, which allowed it, and as a result, Jaws Host, also known as Geoshot, was able to come up with Jailbreak, which allows you to play unlicensed games on the PlayStation Network without being caught by Sony. As a result, Sony could stand to lose millions of dollars as people would be playing copy games for free on the PlayStation Network. So in order to prevent this from happening, Sony decided to release several security patches which prevented Jailbreak from working on the PS3. These were mandatory downloads for anyone who wanted to use the PlayStation Network. They also decided that they were going to sue the living daylights out of George Holt for coming up with Jailbreak. In addition to that, they also wanted to take his PS3 and prevent, get a court order preventing him from ever coming up with any more Jailbreaks on the PS3. As a result, a group named Anonymous, which fights for uh, freedom of information, decided that they were going to take George Holt's side and go after Sony for suing George Holt. Their main goal was trying to get free freedom of information online, which is why they also defended WikiLeaks. But what they don't understand, they're not really gamers. They're just people who are for freedom of information. They don't understand that if they allowed freedom of informa information in this situation, the gaming community would die because people would be playing hacked games. But they don't care. Their, their main goal is not uh, to defend gamers. They just want freedom of information. And the fact that Sony tried to um, hide the information of their root keys is the main reason why they decided to defend George Holtz. So what Anonymous did was they called for hackers worldwide to go after Sony. In addition, they found information about Sony's employees and exposed that information online, as well as bringing down the PlayStation Network by submitting a bunch of false automated logins, which brought the network to a crawling halt. So what happened was in a, this all culminated on April the 20th, when Sony decided to bring down all of their servers in order to secure it from all of these hacker attacks. So what Sony decided to do was rebuild their security, which was pretty lax to begin with, by uh, coming up with new server code information and logins that would prevent the hackers from being able to hack it so easily. In addition, it would be wise for Sony to come up with some new um, root keys, so that way it will be harder for hackers to play hack games online. With the new root keys, though, you would have to, once the, um, the PlayStation Network comes back up, you would probably have to download a new patch for every game since the root keys would be different. Another thing that Sony could do is stop the automated logins because it, it makes it so easy for hackers to slow down the PlayStation Network. Rebuilding the server's code and the uh, login keys should take about one to two weeks. So the earliest that the PlayStation Network could come back is Wednesday, um, April the 27th. But it could take at least a whole extra week before the PlayStation Network comes back up, depending on how much uh, information that and security that they want to put inside the servers to prevent future hacking. And since there are 77 million people with PlayStation Network accounts, one never knows if their um, information was stolen because uh, hackers usually sell the information they never use it they usually sell it so that uh, they never get caught so it could take months before they realize whether or not uh, credit card information was stolen now Sony's being chastised for not giving the, uh, the users enough information so they just recently said that they're going to be sending a letter to, uh, in an email actually to every single place in the network user explaining what happened and when they expect the PlayStation Network to come back up. And they're probably going to give 
a free game to all the PlayStation users like they usually give to um, PlayStation Plus subscribers in order to compensate for the time that they have not been able to use the network. But nobody knows what they're going to give to PlayStation Plus users who pay to use the PlayStation Network and to get all these free games. Are they going to get two extra free games? Nobody knows. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys think that PlayStation Network should do to compensate um, the users for having lax security and for the PlayStation Network being down for so long. Alright, rate, comment, subscribe, and please let me know what you guys think that Sony should do to compensate the users. Alright, peace out.